Good morning everyone, it's The Wanderer, and this morning I'm here in Woolhampton, a civil parish in West Berkshire between Reading and Newbury. It's viewer request today actually, I've just got off at Midgham train station, and uh, basically I've been told by someone who watches the vlogs uh, where I work, that I've been told to go to a place called The Angel, does some really nice food in there, apparently really rates the ribs, some of the best ribs she's ever had, so... I've never had ribs on the channel before, so why not? We'll go for it. And luckily, it's one of the shortest journeys as well, because if you look where Midgham train station is, the pub I'm going to is about two minute walk away. Can't argue with that. So with that being said, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. And with that being said, I'm the Wanderer. Let's make a move. So I know the music's only just started and you can actually still see Midgham train station behind me. I told you it was one of my shortest journeys. Train station there. Angel there. <laughs> Let's go. So I think there's going to be a slight change of plan. Um, now I'm going to show you a picture that I found online. Uh, the menu online did actually have the ribs and that's what I actually came here for. I have read every word of this physical menu and there are no ribs. I literally see no ribs on both sides. So I'm actually going to go for the ribeye steak today because someone did leave a comment on my TGI video. Uh, saying that the TGI ribeyes apparently aren't all that. Now, I loved it, but it's always good to get a comparison. And the ribeye comes with, well, all steaks come with chunky chips, grilled mushroom, cherry tomatoes, onion rings, um, rocket, and your choice of sauce. And I'm going to be going for uh, the red wine sauce. A uh, bit of a shame about the ribs. As I say, there's a picture of the online menu. You've seen the physical yourself. Food ordered, 10 past 12 guys, so I've gone for the ribeye. Now unless you saw the ribs on the menu, I looked everywhere. I scoured that whole thing, uh, couldn't see it, so that is a shame. I'm gonna go for four on the service though. Lady, very, very friendly, very smiley, bubbly, took my order very well and um, wrote everything down. I think very, very good service, good start. And now, as we are at the, like, summertime is literally just around the corner. It is very, very, very hot. So in the words of Maury Calliope, I really wanted this cold boy. It's also 10 p.m. somewhere in the world.
So I just had a little explore around the place and it's really, really nice. I do like the atmospheres of these kind of places. Really, really large, nice beer garden. If I knew they had a beer garden to be fair, I probably might have sat out there because it is the perfect day for it. But I'm fine, I'm tucked away in the corner. Really nice day to be fair and uh, just enjoying my drinks. All right then guys, so it arrived at 12.29. That is 19 minutes after order. Uh, so 15 or less is five, 16 to 18 is four, 19 to 21 is three. That's where it sits, it's a three on the time. But I have to say, as I always say, three, don't look at three as bad. And I say it all the time, whenever I go anywhere, average is what you expect. I'm not looking for perfection all the time, but if it happens, it happens. But where I think I may be going for perfection is, have a look yourself. think there's really anything I can add in words to to say how I feel about how it looks how it looks and how it smells but I haven't got to the taste yet obviously presentation is probably one of the easiest fives that I've ever given on this channel that steak I want to go into it first but I always save the best for last so let's see where do we start well we'll start with a little bit of the salad I think I think this might have some of that red wine sauce on it as well, so here we go. Mm. It's got a really, really strong punch, nice flavour in there. If I had that as a salad all the time, I'd be very, very satisfied. We don't have enough salad in our diet, we must, we must. Cherry tomato, very soft, very, very soft cherry tomato. Oh my word, it's on the, um, I didn't notice. It's still on the, uh, I can't remember the word. Please let me know. Cherry tomato, let's dig in. Lovely and hot, just how I like it. Really soft as well, so once you get into it, the tomato just explodes. Beautiful flavor. Let's go with um, mushroom. Fried mushroom, just as I like. If it was raw, probably wouldn't touch it. really nice as well not too dry but not too sort of wet in the sense that I'm just literally eating grease really just perfect nice flavor brilliant taste just a few things to go I'm trying to rush through it because there is a lot here the uh, chunky chip so let's have a look here then not a bad chip um, I feel like these ones are kind of like um, well I mean maybe they are you can pretty much buy these. They're like oven chips, like McCain's maybe. But, I mean, not a terrible thing. The chip is the only thing that really hasn't blown me away yet. Onion ring, now I have to say, usually prefer my onion rings to be like really soft. I am squeezing this, I am squeezing it, and oh, here we go, there we go. So it's quite a hard one, but it's not about how hard it is, it's about the taste. Some people might say that the crunch on that was just right. For me, I like my onion rings to be a little bit softer, just a little bit. But the onion inside, though, was actually really nice, so I, I'm not going to make any complaints. Right, it's main event time. The ribeye steak, which just looks absolutely mahoosive. First of all, get your eyes on that. Oh, yes. Right. Right. The steak I had at TG Ollie's was really nice. Had a pretty sweet flavor. And I'm not gonna deny that it was really nice. I think, I think this bet is it. It is perfectly juicy not too dry, had it done medium, and quite honestly, the flavor, the beef was just unbelievable. I do have one more bite of the steak to take though with the sauce, the red wine sauce. 
the smell on that has just been amplified to the max with the with the red wine sauce though I have to say really looking forward to this last piece before we really get into it you guys have to get yourself down to the Angel in Wolhampton that is mega right I'm gonna finish it rate and review outside it is really good though guys I think I may have spoiled it it is good Okay everyone, so right behind me there, that was the Angel in Woolhampton. Now my bill came to 30 35 I did want to leave a tip, but I asked for the bill and I was sat there and I was waiting and I was waiting and I was waiting. And again, you know, no offense to the guys in there because they were absolutely wonderful. Um, but then I had to go to the desk myself and say, look, I asked for the bill and I am now pretty much at risk of missing my train I'm not really my train is about five minutes away and I obviously you see where the station is it's right there but if I left it any later the trains are once every hour don't really want to be waiting but anyway let's go on to the taste score now now I have to say really really wonderful that steak it did in my opinion just edge the TGI steak I think in my opinion there were a couple things though that let it down now I fell in love with the salad was much better than it had any right to be. I'm not sure if it was because of the wine sauce that was on there, it was really, really good. Tomatoes, again, amazing. Hot, soft, explosion in your mouth, just as I like it. Chips, now, chips kind of let it down for me a little bit. They did not taste any different to what I can get at home. I'm not accusing them of using home fries. They could be home uh, oven fries, they could be homemade, but they tasted literally like McCain's. I'm not accusing them of using McCain's, but it did taste like it. I'm at the station now, by the way. And the, uh, where's platform two? There's platform two. How do I get the platform two? But yeah, I don't, I, the chips, in my opinion, I think, mm, not, not amazing. And then the onion rings, a bit harder than I would like, to be honest. I prefer them to be a little bit like, um, a little bit softer uh, it was one of those where you bite into it and you don't get the onion it just it just falls out so yeah no it was nice it tasted nice but I think the chips and the onion rings I'm not gonna say let it down but a little bit below expectation for me and now that I'm at the right platform I can give it the score I'm gonna say listen despite what I said about the chips and the onion rings those things were minor they did taste nice but they didn't taste any different to what you could get at home. The rest of it, however, is the kind of stuff that you go out for. I'm going to go four out of five on taste. So the overall taste, TGIs were better across the board. The steak itself, to the person who left the comment about the TGI steak, oh yeah, 100%. The Angel in Wolhampton had an amazing, amazing ribeye and at a pretty decent price as well, to be fair. So the overall experience then, let's see. We had, we had four service, four taste, a three time so that is an 11 with a presentation of five so i make that a 16 out of 20 eight out of 10 not bad the angel Woolhampton, very good just a shame that i couldn't get the ribs that were you know really hyped for me so a little bit gutted about that but yeah i mean there's always plenty of other places that i could go to that i could do ribs on this channel 
Anyway, I'm just going to wait to get my train, get home, check out the F1 qualifying, have a few more beers, I think. And <laughs> so with that being said, if you do like this kind of stuff, guys, don't forget, of course, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm The Wanderer, and until next time, bye for now. The smell now is just the smell on that. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope that came through. And just a final uh, post credits bit. I didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> um, no, I, I just want to correct something as well that I said at the beginning of the ending as well. Um, waiting for the bill is not the reason why I didn't leave a tip. I didn't leave a tip because I didn't want to add the time consumption. That is literally it because like I say, I don't want to risk it. When it's one train every hour, don't want to risk it. So again, please don't take it that he didn't tip because he waited long for the bill. No, no, it was literally the risk, um, the risk and that's all. But if I could leave a tip, I would. That's 100%. Anyway, bye again.